So, good morning, Facebook crowd. It's Jillian. I wanted to um, just focus on this subject matter because I noticed that on my Facebook uh, newsfeed that women and men are dealing with some kind of mobility issues with their shoulder. And I've noticed and heard through even the diet suddenly groups that people are getting arm pain and all of that. And so, you know, I've never had any V's or any kind of therapies out there, okay? But I know when the frequencies have kicked up because of climate change, global warming, whatever you want to call it, that the hives, yes, are kicking up. That it's not just my husband coming home and hives happen. Now they're happening during the week, but it's not a big deal, okay? Now it's just itchy. And yeah, when, um, see, I could do this, but yesterday, when I did a set of movement yesterday, like taking a washcloth that I was using and hit up in the ceiling because a fly, I was like, oh my gosh, that was painful. Hold on. <laughs> and I noticed that when I was doing dishes and I was doing a set of movement this way, a set of movement this way, I was like, oh my God, that was so freaking painful. And so... Yeah, so um, so it, it, it's it's the 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 growth, it's the inflammation that when the body's pushing stuff throughout the immune system, and of course your lymph nodes and they're in your arms or in your shoulders or everywhere, and I have of course hives all over the place, but no big deal. Um, that it's just it's a little more sensitive during that time and yeah and then in the morning like this morning i woke up this morning i really didn't have to blow my nose that much but i started to blow my nose around five and i went to sleep a little bit early last night because yesterday i was up almost all day and all night almost remember i was up really early at two in the morning but um this morning i slept until about 4 30 almost five listening to stuff on youtube and falling back asleep i had one weird dream i remember what it was but um but no, I was blow my nose, blow my nose, blow my nose. I'm like, okay, I got to get up. I blow my nose, blow my nose. I poop. And yes, stuff was coming out, stuff was coming out. And then my arm is great. Okay? See, here's the thing, guys. It, you really have to earn the right to feel the pain and do what you have to do, like what I'm doing, where I just eat food. Like last night, we had some barbecue food and everything. And, and, and... My husband and I are talking about stuff that's going on in the world and everything because he came home last night. And then um, and then all I have to do is just go to sleep because I would go to I I have no trouble going to sleep at night. I have no trouble sleeping. The thing is, I'll wake up and um, it'll be hard to go back to sleep sometimes, but um, which is no big deal because I'll just be awake and I won't even feel groggy and I'll go on Facebook Live or do whatever but I have no trouble falling asleep. Okay. I have no trouble falling asleep. And that's the privilege that I get for facing all of my freaking demons. And I've been, well, I've fought for this position to have this time to do that. It wasn't, I was given, I wasn't given this privilege of latitude to do this. No, I had to, fight for the position that I have. Okay. What do you mean fight? Because I'll tell you, you know, uh, when, when, when our society is so focused on making as much money as you can, trying to keep up with somebody else with the best cars, the best toys, the best social, you know, status, the best this, it's expected that everybody puts in a thousand percent, even if you can't afford it, it's expected everyone puts in a thousand percent at the detriment of your own health in order to keep up with somebody else. But people don't realize that some people have the capacity to go a certain level. Other people don't. And people actually destroy themselves. Okay by trying to keep up with someone else. I'm gonna give you an example. Okay, these two things, let's pretend this is this is bigger and this is smaller. Well, it is. When this thing can go a thousand miles an hour and do whatever, 
and this coffee cup can't. What people do when something like this is able to go a thousand miles per hour and this can't, this will try to keep up with this. And what happens, what gets sacrificed? Usually the smaller thing or something like this that has compromised vital organs. And so I did not want to keep up with people like this. I knew my capacity was in this sphere. And if I was going to save myself, I was not going to try to keep up with people like this. I was going to keep up with something like this myself. And that's how I saved myself by not comparing myself to others and trying to keep up with other people. Because that's how you're going to F-U-C-K yourself is when you're trying to keep up with all the expectation around you, with everyone and their expectations and everyone and their baubles and their lifestyle and their belief system and their politics and their religion, and their science, and then people destroy themselves. And so I fought for this position to be able, which means I had to also look at my consumption, look at my potential addictions, look at what I was doing to cause people to think that, oh, well, you should go work a million hours a week in order to justify your existence. And that's not always the case. And so, again, women and men need to know their worth. So that way they can take the time to save themselves while they still are taking care of their priorities. And I'm going to tell you, that's a hard thing to do, especially with so many people's expectations, people's, uh, the different metabolism that people work with. And so I knew I could not keep up with my husband. I knew that. Oh, I knew that. But how do you fight for your position? How do you fight for saying, okay, I can't keep up with you, but here's what I can contribute to. Here's what I can do. And that takes, yeah, diplomacy, negotiating skills, knowing your fucking worth. Being able to develop an argument to save your own ass. And that takes, yeah, someone that really, that, 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 that knows exactly what needs to be done to save themselves. And so I earned the right to be in this position of feeling the feelings that I have and not have it turn into something that I have to go get a doctor to do medical intervention. I don't have to turn to a chiropractor or a supplement or any kind of detox to alleviate any kind of discomfort because I have developed a system that I can rely on. That is self-sufficiency. It's just eating food, releasing demons any way possible, blowing my nose, coughing, sneezing, doing whatever I have. Cause I did have a little bit of a sneezing fit right before, right after I got out of the shower. And even after, you know, I go poo and whatever and take a shower and I dry off and I'm still a little bit sneezing. I'm still releasing demons. But through up here, obviously not down there. In this environment, this environment, blood vessels are going to be bursting with people with weak blood vessels. People are going to be shitting their pants if uh, they're, they're trying to, well, when the frequencies cause then a rapid um, energy conversion and if people have demons within that the immune system wants to release and if the colon and down there is the only way to release really in an aggressive form it happens sometimes it happens overnight and sometimes yeah usually it happens overnight when people are sleeping and around midnight or three or whatever people do have their accidents not because there's anything wrong with them because they're in that situation now where, yes, the food is working for them. Food is working for them. The environment is also working for them, releasing those demons. And sometimes during the night, either people die from heart attacks and strokes and drowning in their mucus, or they're going to shit their pants or cough really hard. I would rather shit my pants. I would rather cough really hard and feel all the stuff then hold everything in because, oh gosh, I can't, you know, you're, you're resenting the body from trying to protect itself. And then people die from resenting their body from trying to protect itself. And so does it mean that you're falling apart when the body is releasing so aggressively? No, we're in a really different freaking world now. Inflammation, pain, suffering, it's exponential. People are dying suddenly because they don't have the capacity to release because they've held everything in. 
And so, you know, again, when I'm watching my Facebook and I'm watching women my age or older dealing with shoulder issues, dealing with mobility issues, and I'm getting AARP emails because I'm doing AARP and they're telling me, oh, here's how to have a great sex life. Here's how to do this and this. And I'm just like, you know, leering at the AARP stuff, but I do get the discounts for food and other things. Right. But then I'm watching also my Facebook women, my age and older dealing with some shit that I really don't have to deal with or have to go get diagnosed. I deal with it, but I don't have it become a permanent disfigurement when you have to go get something operated on, when you have to bring in an intermediary like a chiropractor or like a surgeon. And so that's the beauty of my world when you have the capacity to face your demons and change the way you do stuff and figure out how to negotiate with the people around you that you don't want to die for them. You don't want to die with them. You're not going to be the human fucking sacrifice to your friends and family or husband or wife that you actually value your life, even though they say, well, because how do you say that to somebody that's like, you know, well, I value my life too. And then it becomes, uh, what do you call it? A fight about what is valuing life mean and all that. So there's ways to put things, <laughs> you're not putting them on the defense, but you're going to have to figure out if you are around people who have so much influence. How do you, how do you justify whatever changes you have to make that they're going to be like, oh, well, that's stupid. You're listening to Jillian. Oh, that's stupid. You know, food is poison. Don't eat that food. That's poison. Only eat fruit and that's it. Okay. How do you talk to people like that? How do you even face hearing the the gossip that's behind your back you know how do you face all that how do you deal with people in your life that will make sure you don't ever change it you don't ever save yourself because they can't save yourself i don't know people paint themselves in a corner and what can you do people have resigned to the fact that they have painted themselves in a corner and have surrounded themselves by prison keepers and that's and so that's why I'm saying if you can find a way to start relinquishing uh, your hold over other people as well as their hold over you, you might actually understand what freedom actually is. Freedom is not this whole thing with the Butler County and them arming people because of whatever. They're like, I want to save America from and have it be, we be free like way back in the 19 something. So I'm like, those days of 1960s, 50s, 40s, 30s, 1800s, it's over with. <laughs> Freedom is the ability to change without people around you stopping you from changing. People don't realize that that's the jail that they're in. It's the people around them and themselves have jailed them into a very specific expectation of what life is, what freedom is, what even America is. But again, you, 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 could, you could dispute and debate what America is, debate what freedom is, debate what health is. And in, at the end of the day, it doesn't even matter. It's what people's perceptions. And so if somebody around you has a different perception of what freedom and health and longevity is, and you have a different perception, and they're going to actively try and stop you in body, mind, and spirit, and intimidation, and in mocking you, and in, oh, fear, 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 I love you so much. Oh, shit, you're being manipulated up the yin-yang. And that's the thing about the J world is recognizing manipulation for what it is. Manipulation is intimidation. Manipulation is mocking. Manipulation is love bombing people. Manipulation is, oh, let me save you from whatever. And I've seen all the manipulations out there. I've experienced all of them. So I can speak from experience because I've been in this world for such a long time trying to explain my thought process around people who actively who don't even know me, who have actively trying to stop me from changing. So imagine if strangers are trying to stop me from changing, what friends and family and cohorts, what they do to their own loved ones and people around them who are next to them. So I can only imagine what people are dealing with out there. So I want to let you know that, it, that for me to earn 
this my mobility when yesterday I was fucking screaming in pain for a minute when I'm taking a washcloth like this, okay? And there's a fly on the ceiling. I'm going like this and I'm like, ow, like screaming. Or when I'm doing something in the kitchen, and I do this and I'm fucking screaming. And then today, no fucking issues, no issues. I have mobility. I mean, I feel a little bit of pain here and nothing major, but I feel certain stuff. And I have hives and no big deal. I just itch them with my little back scratcher. But I'm not needing medical intervention. I'm not immobile. I just know you gotta, I gotta deal with this stuff as the frequencies keep shifting. So that's what's available for those who can handle vast amounts of changes and laying the groundwork. And I'm telling you, it's not easy laying that groundwork to save yourself. But those in the J world that's been around my information for a long time, you've laid a lot of groundwork by even just absorbing the information and progressively you have given yourself a little bit of an island so you can take care of yourself without too many people intruding on what you're doing or trying to stop you. And you know the all the different risks and you know that if you have to do whatever you do with the professional or doctor or whoever, you know you got to do what you got to do. I'm not telling anyone not to see their doctor. I'm not telling anyone they could do what I'm doing. I just give you the capacity. Like I gave somebody the other day my book for free. Okay, because they're, you know, they're on my Facebook and I want them to have all sides of the story. You know, people Google me and all that stuff and whatever. But I want it to, so I don't sell this information to sell this lifestyle and say it's so wonderful. Oh, it's not wonderful when you go through that process. And people may, may not be able to go through the process. But a book or my information is a seed for them to think about as they are figuring out their world. And they can read it and see that someone was able to do whatever they do. Blood types, you know, for that to the side for a minute. And they just see that someone has able was able to figure out a way to face the pain and suffering and still survive it and understand the leveraging of your nose and your coughing, sneezing, blowing your nose, giving yourself time to be sick. Some people don't have time to be sick. So they have to do whatever the doctor says because any type of food changes would send them in massive aggressive inflammation. And I understand that too. Any kind of inflammation anaphylaxis type of reaction must be done very carefully and sometimes even a doctor must be involved so but still everyone deserves to see how other humans are surviving this crazy thing that we're going through at this point okay and so <laughs> so yeah 2024 is going to be super interesting and um you know, I just put out what I put out about the Butler County Sheriff giving you guys a warning about what's to potentially come. Um, and that, you know, when you hear the FBI say that there's been chatter, that there's stuff going to happen. And then you have 3,300 sheriffs go to D.C. being told what potentially is to come. And then you have the sheriff of Butler County, not even Stark County. I'm in Stark County. But the sheriff of Butler County warning people of what's to potentially come. This is, and he said, stay home, stay safe. Some people want to go and and uh, train in their arms. And, you know, I'm not looking for the enemy. I'm just staying home defending my property. I'm not hunting anyone. Okay? Because at this point, the new world's going to be brought in by our own people. Again, through fear, through savior, through scapegoating, whatever it is. Remember, the negative and positive work together, just like in your body. The antigen and the antibody, you can't have too much on either end. So the Democrats and Republicans, it doesn't matter which side, it's an antigen antibody programming. They play off each other. It will be your own people that will be bringing in the new world. And some people will be used as scapegoats. Some people will be radicalized. Some people will want to go and save the world. Some people want to 
want to go in and, and protest and they will become, you know, a lesson or whatever. So just understand the psychological operations, understand politics and what's going on with the new world stuff, bring brought in and biology and try not <laughs> to get too caught up. But some people are because they want the old world. And when they want the old world and they don't like the changes and they don't want to, to scale down their lifestyle and belief system, they're going to fight for something that they can't see. They're going to fight for an, a world that doesn't exist anymore. And you just support them as best you can, let them do their thing, and you just save yourself. And that's true not only in the pol political spectrum, but also in the longevity, biological, physiological spectrum of cancer disease and chronic illness. Okay? Have a good Saturday.